destruction is enormous. But here in Beji, the Iraqi army have scored their first major victory in their fight to take back their country from the Islamic State. 150 miles from Baghdad, this is the country's biggest refinery. It's been surrounded by IS for months and only just liberated. Thanks in part to foreign help, says this fighter. He told me when the new commander came, he moved us forward, but we didn't have any planes, only helicopters. The coalition started their airstrikes, clearing the road of bombs and giving us cover to move in and take the refinery. We are the first journalists to make it here since it was liberated. The fighting has been fierce and it isn't quite over yet. If they hold on to this area, that's a huge strategic victory, but it's also much more. It will be a big boost to the Iraqi army's morale because until now, they've largely only known defeat and surrender at the hands of the Islamic State. We've just come under fire and, re and returning fire at the minute. The Iraqi armies tell us that they've cleared most ISIS fighters from this area, but not all of them, and there's still a risk of sniper fire and others. This gun battle was all the more extraordinary because we were travelling with Iraq's new defence secretary. Unharmed and unperturbed, Khalid al Obedi then had lunch with his commanders. Flies, not gunfire, were more of a bother. His soldiers were helped by an RAF airstrike near here only yesterday, but more are needed, says the minister. Honestly, as I have said to the ambassadors of the EU, these operations are not enough. They could weaken IS capabilities by 70 to 80 percent through more air strikes. This is just one victory that comes after a string of major defeats. But coalition airstrikes and training are making a difference. Iraq's army are back in the fight. Quentin Somerville, BBC News, Beji in northern Iraq.